Welcome to your Daily Five for Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Dr. Douglas Bielmeyer and I are going to be doing a series of shows. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least two, if not three episodes. I just have a hunch. But we're going to be covering six of John Carpenter's films and one with an asterisk. So really it's five plus one that I've chosen to include. And these six films, when we pick them, we pick them with no coordination. We came up with this idea, but we did not pick movies in any type of agreement. We just picked randomly three movies each. And it just so happened that these six movies pair up exceptionally well to talk about. So the six movies are, I don't remember if I said this on the show or not. I think I specified the movies. Assault on Precinct 13, Escape from New York, Halloween 3, Starman, They Live, and Vampires. Now, I know somebody immediately is saying, wait a minute, Halloween 3 was not directed by Carpenter. Correct, it was not. However, it is a Carpenter idea based on the Halloween series, and it pairs with Starman well because Halloween is essentially a Carpenter film where he didn't direct but did the music, and then Starman is a film that Carpenter directed but didn't do the music for, so it's an interesting paradox for what he normally does. Anyway, we'll get into that in the episodes. But rewatching all these movies pretty rapid fire, because I watch a lot of the movies I like out of Carpenter's uh, filmography often, but I don't usually watch them in close proximity. And so I noticed something this time that I really never thought about before when it comes to the movies I like of his best, which is, you know, I mean, Assault from Precinct 13 is in there. Escape from New York is certainly in there. I, again, Halloween 3 is an asterisk. I get that. Uh, and then They Live is another one. But a lot of them are very simple movies. And I'm not saying that this is some revelation that I'm coming up with that somebody else didn't already come up with. But I just never thought about it before. It never really occurred to me that many of these movies, if you were to describe them, not much really happens. Meaning, for example, Starman. Great example. Starman is basically a three-day drive with two people. An alien and a human being. That's it. It's, it's a human being giving... A, an alien, a Uber ride to his pickup point or, you know, to, to depart on his ship. That's all the movie is. And what's interesting is that is a weird thing to say because that movie showcases and Carpenter had said this was his intent. So many different areas in the United States. It very clearly goes to all different locations to showcase the beauty of the United States in this tract of, you know, where they drive from the north to the south. But in terms of what the movie is, it really couldn't be simpler. It's just a road trip for three days. That's it. Assault on Precinct 13. There's another one, one of my favorites of his. It's just about people getting shot at in the police station that's abandoned. That's the movie. Yeah, you have set up in the stuff in the opening, but it's barely any time before you arrive at a fixed location, and that's where the rest of the movie takes place. And that movie just flies. I mean, that movie, it's unbelievable how quick that movie goes by. And that's, I've come to realize, now it's not a universal, it's not every single movie. Big Trouble in Little China has a lot of motion and movement and pieces in different places. But many of my favorite Carpenter films are very simple in terms of what's actually happening. They Live is another one. You know, it really is two places. Well, it's, it's, it's really three places. It's a homeless camp, a the street scenes, and the, the TV station at the end. And that's really it. And that's... I'm not saying that as any kind of criticism. I actually think that that makes the movies more impressive to me is that they don't, because so much of what we have now in modern filmmaking, this isn't necessarily a dig at this type of movie, but it's very common, is the big Mission Impossible showcase where, okay, we're going to a location and we're going to have a huge action set piece there. Then we got to go to another location, huge action set piece there. And the movies that I've found, even in modern films, that when I think about it, I like the best. For example, Fury Road, which is or Mad Max Fury Road, which is just driving one way, turning around, and coming back on a nearly featureless expanse. I mean, there's little biomes in there, but you, there's not like it's cities or real locations for the most part. It's a lot of just being on the road. And yet, one of my favorite modern movies. I mean, just a beautifully made action film. Uh, and, and I like that simplicity in things. I don't mind complexity, too. Look, I love Stalker and I love Solaris, and those are... Very non-simple films, <laughs> very, very heavy philosophical stuff. But I also just realized that I think what Carpenter really does best is doing a simple, strong little movie. And I, I don't know that we're ever going to see any more out of him. I know he's doing one of these anthology episodes. His filmmaking days are probably done. But it's just something I happen to notice. Not sure that anybody else hasn't noticed this already, but just figured I'd talk about it for a little bit and look forward to those shows. They'll be coming soon. Later.